What's up everybody? Today we're straying away from cars and racing games. As promised, December will be a month of trying out new things. So today we're playing Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, or TABS for short. It's basically a strategy game where you have points you can spend on people to fight battles for you. There are many different types of units that do all sorts of wacky things, and today we will begin with the introduction campaign as we meet our first enemy, Clubbers. These bad boys are armed with their own personal Lucilles, and we gotta beat them. This is Lucille. We've only got 600 points, so I'm gonna use some spear throwers. All right, it wants me to learn the controls. Ooh, some good hits there. Come on, guys, you got this. Oh, maybe not. This suddenly isn't looking very good. Come on, guys, you can do this. Hurry, hurry, before he smashes your face. It's telling me to possess my unit. Yeah, there wasn't much I could have done. Back to the drawing board. I think what we need are some protectors with shields at the front to distract the clubbers, while the spear throwers get them from a safe distance. All right, take two. Oh, I think the spear throwers landed a few hits, and the protectors are slowing them down, giving the spearmen a chance to get out new spears. Oof, nice throw. BAM! Our first victory! Oh my g- Oh no, I'm so sorry dude, that's the worst place to get speared at. I think I just committed a war crime. Alright, now the enemy consists of spear throwers and I've got 800 points. I'm gonna use some shields to hopefully block the spears and hopefully give these clubbers and spearmen a chance to rearrange their faces. Let the battle commence. Okay, so the shields aren't 100% effective. <laughs> My spear thrower landed a hit and the clubber isn't doing well. <laughs> Oof, okay, well, the clubber is distracting the guys at the top. My spear guy is down and I've got one left. Wow, I don't know if I should even really be alive right now. I don't know if I deserve this victory, but okay. All right, it looks like I'm going up against some stone throwers, clubbers, and some bone mages. I like the bone mages, so let's see if a bunch of spearmen can win. I'll also plop a protector to hopefully distract and pull in some of the enemy to make it easier to hit them. That was an okay first volley. This doesn't look like it's going to end in our favor, though. Wait, did they kill themselves? Am I going to have another accidental win? Well, well, all right then. Wow, I have 1,800 points to fight an army. I'm feeling pretty confident. Here's some bone mages to send them flying, some stone throwers to rock their world, some spearmen, and a lone protector. I'm hoping with the use of the bone mages, we can take advantage of the fact that they're clumped together. Wow, yep, the bone mages are a success. Just a few stragglers left to pick off. Amazing. I'm a fantastic tactician. You could say I'm a fantactician. Turns out using that joke is a felony. Yeah, that sounded better in my mind. Okay, so anyways, we're battling farmers with pitchforks and some hobbits. These bone mages should send the halflings flying and any who do survive shall be skewered. Or possibly clubbed to death. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Great success! Let's watch that again in slow motion. Amazing. I love that the game has slow-mo controls. Hmm. The bone mages don't really excel at melee, I must admit. Oh, no. Now, now that's a problem. You missed! I mean, not that it mattered. Oh well. F in the comments for that poor Spearman. Let's run that again and see if the outcome is the same. It's not looking promising. Oh, what? The Spearman is being swept away by the current. No, Spear Thrower, why? <laughs> there he is, the little red speck. That is definitely a defeat. All right, new plan. Here's some protectors. We're going to move back the Bone Mages and spread out the Spear Throwers even more. 
The halflings are throwing themselves at the shields. And they're away! Nope, still a failure. What about just spending all my points on bone mages? Well, now that's just silly. What have we here? A bunch of weirdos wearing hay bales, wielding pointy sticks. Well, all I have to say to that is, face the wrath of my mammoth. Yes, listen to their cries of pain and suffering under my mammoth. He is so wonderful as he looms over the potion sellers and turns them into blue pancakes. Well, that's part of the thumbnail. Hmm, I'm immediately suspicious. But I'll put down a mammoth and a bone mage and hopefully whatever they have up their sleeve won't matter. And that random protector can stand there as a potential distraction if necessary. Why are your eyes so weird? All I can see are the pupils. All right, well, as long as it doesn't affect your ability to fight, I don't care. That bone mage attack could have been better. But who cares? We have a frickin' mammoth. They have a frickin' mammoth. Champion of the people, the true Dumbo. Okay, now, come on, 3,200 points against that? I suspect a trap. They must have dudes lurking in the tall grass. I can't see them, though. Well, I'll try to fight what I can't see, I suppose. I'll put down some spear throwers to match what I can see, and maybe I'll channel the bone mage to spice things up, too. And then, hmm, what else? Maybe some protectors? They don't do much damage, but they are good mitigators. We can also do the stone throwers again. They weren't terrible. Oh, I see there are hobbits in the tall grass. Uh oh, the potion throwers are making my dudes fall over. I think I got this though. Once I claim the battlefield, I can get the potion people hanging at the back. These guys are a little annoying though. They do damage over time and make your people fall over. Alright, come on guys, it's just the potion sellers left. You can do this. Ugh, they're really knocking them over. But I, th I think we got this. Oh wow, nice death pose. I think I saw something like this in a Swan Lake performance. Warp. <laughs> I, I love the noises the characters make. So now we've got a group of squires to battle. Let's give the scarecrow a try and some farmers to distract them while the crows recharge. The battle begins. Attack of the burbs. So it looks like the pitchforks aren't tanking very well. Whoa, he sent that crow flying. Oh no. So I'm thinking a wheelbarrow, a potion cellar, and a hay baler. So the wheelbarrow charges into people and throws apples at them or something. The potion cellar is doing fine work keeping people drunk. Oh no, the wheelbarrow guy lost his wheelbarrow. <laughs> Come on, potion dude, you can do it. Wait, what is the deal with this stump? Okay, back to the drawing board. Harvesters and hay balers, will they win the day for us? The harvesters have a good attack, but not good enough. They barely killed anyone at all. The harvester is dying on his own terms, maybe? Many hay people and two halfling generals. Is this working? No, no, it's not working. My dudes are dying. Harvestors, pitchforks, and hay balers versus the squire army. Yeah, this isn't working either. I need something to slow them down. We've got a wheelbarrow, a farmer, some balers, and a pitchfork dude. What are you doing? That's not helpful. Okay, please don't fall off this time. Yikes. Afro Man didn't even survive the first pass. So I'm probably going to lose the war at this rate. Distract them, Frodo. They think you still have the ring. We'll poke them to death while they search your corpse. 
<laughs> the squires do so much more damage than the hay balers. I'm clearly missing something here. Is there just some bullshit cheese strategy I'm not thinking of? Oh, that's right! I'm so stupid. The darn potion sellers throw AoE bombs that do damage and knock people over. Yeah, alright, I lost, but this time I got this. A hobbit with a potion seller escort. It's Frodo and his dealers! <laughs> I wonder what Prohibition was like in the Shire. Wow, that feels good. Yep, this is already working so much better. It's knocking the squires over, making them wander around, and it's doing damage! Uh, they are getting a little close. Guys, keep throwing if you want to live. Throw, man, throw! Throw like your life depends on it because it does. They're hitting themselves a little bit. This is like watching a drunken bar fight. No one can really even stand. Ah, I'm glad I finally beat that stupid level. Jeez. Okay, so we've got some bards and some archers. The bards are annoying because they pull aggro and distract your units, so we've got to eliminate them as fast as possible. I'm not 100% confident in my plan, but let's see what happens. The wheelbarrow is still alive and doing some good work. Oh, don't hit our dude, Mr. Barrow. We have a limited force and we can't afford to lose anything. Oh my god, it looks like Aframan is strangling or uh, uh, humping him to death. What is my farmer doing? Why is he walking off the cliff? Alright then, suit yourself, you treacherous deserter. Drown in a pool of your own tears. Aphroman is just wailing on this archer. Oh! Killed by an apple to the back of the head. How about them apples? The hero that got the kill shot. Here's a close-up. Ooh, a catapult. Now, catapults are dangerous to large, clumped groups of small units because it basically just blows them apart. So you need to be spread out. Sometimes have range or very fast-moving melee people. So we've got a scarecrow, a halfling general, three potion sellers, some hay balers, and a couple of farmers. Not to sound cocky, but I'm feeling pretty confident in this setup. Oh no, the catapult wasting its shot, and I think it even killed some of his own guys. Yep, that's the caddy down. All thanks to the rude crew led by General Crow. Dr. Crane isn't here, leave a message after the beep. Okay, we've got a king with a sword and healer escort. This shouldn't be too hard with 4,800 points. We've basically got the whole farmer faction here to battle the king. My force feels fairly well balanced, so let's hope this works. Potions are already doing good work, I like it. Oh, here come the crows. The king is feeling sick. We're just piling on top of him. Look at the heels, though. I think we got this, ladies and gentlemen. The king can probably barely even see or stand. Not to mention, he keeps getting roofied or poked. Oh, he's down. Amazing! What a great victory! Ooh, what a pretty map. We're up against the Ancients, now it looks like, and we have 2100 points to spend on medieval dudes. Let's get our own catapult. Okay, now for some archers to serve as pepper spray. Alright, we got archers, squire backup, and a catapult to really thin the crowd. Oh, that poor squire. Yeah, he stood no chance. Now for the archers. I'm starting to see some flaws in how I placed my people. The catapult is just jammed in the streets, not doing anything. Oh no. Yeah, I'm not winning this battle. That was probably the worst catapult shot of all time. Yeah, I probably deserve that. I move the catapult to a more convenient location. Let's hope it works. Yeah! That's much better. Come on, caddy, fire again. 
Victory! Aha, a bunch of hoplites. Let's have some more fun with catapults since these guys are clumped together. We'll back the caddy up with some archers, a squire, and a knight. Is this a winning force? There's only one way to find out. Let the battle commence. Nice shot. Wait, what is the caddy doing? Okay, well, how is our knight doing? He got most of them, but not all of them. Whoa, be careful, catapult. Dude, you might get yourself killed. Come on, he's getting close. Fire, fire. Yeah. Rock on, catapult. Ooh, we've got ballistas to contend with. I'm thinking we definitely try out some catapults here, combined with archers and some frontline squires. The bottom catapult hit its mark perfectly. The top one didn't quite get all of them. Come on, shoot! Before it's too late! Boom, you got him! Oh no, the ballista's got our catapults! Will the archers win the day? No. No is the answer. Dang it! Let's run this again and see if the catapults can do better work. Looking good. Looking very good. Nice shots, boys. Oh snap, that's all the squires gone. Come on, catapults, get the ballistas. They should be busy reloading. Aha, nice. We have 3,400 points to battle some Minotaurs. Let's try out the king backed up by healers and knights. Uh-oh, here come the pokey boys with their long spears. Come on, king, you can do this. Maybe. Oh no, my healers! They're getting trampled by the bullmen. And the king is down. I'm not feeling optimistic. Oh, yep, we lost. <laughs> How about some catapults, squires, and an archer? No, they're attacking the caddies. Yeah, this is a bad plan. You didn't see this. Look away from the screen now, please. How about a million archers? Well, not a million, but a lot. Will the initial volley be good? Not, not really. Their accuracy leaves a lot to be desired. Come on! Shoot the Minotaurs! Shoot them! Shoot, shoot! Shoot her! Shoot her! The Bowmen look great though, I have to say. Ugh, come on, these archers can barely hit anything. And now the Minotaur is attacking the archers. It's only a matter of time, guys. Shoot, shoot. shoot like your lives depend on it because it freaking does. Oh, glorious. Ooh, we're fighting the Vikings now. Ice archers almost. And we have 3,500 points to spend on the ancient dudes now. Let's try Zeus, because he's pretty powerful, and maybe some snake archers to hopefully distract the enemy and give Zeus a lot of openings. The hoplites should be pretty good at meleeing at least some of these fools. You know what, we'll use some Sarissas too, so that we've used all our points. The snakes are in the crowd, and Zeus is firing! Zeus is doing some pretty good work. The ice archers are chilling him a little bit though. Oh, here come the snakes. Good luck, Jones. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Aha, victory. Bears and bears. What? You know what a bear can't fight? A fast moving freaking giant spear, that's what. We'll distract these guys with some snakes once again, because they did good work last time. And just to make sure I have a good crowd, we'll use some hoplites and sarissas. The snakes are causing a panic in the enemy ranks. The giant axe-wielding Jarls are a bit tanky, though. Okay, few remain on the battlefield, except for some Jarls, my archers, and the ballistas. Where are you going, sir? I think a Jarl just got iced by a Ballista. I don't know why, but the Hoplite wants to end it all. Maybe he hates the weather. Oh, oh we did it. 
medium army. I'm not sure I like the looks of this. My answer to your army is Zeus. But not one, not two, but three gods of thunder will tear your army apart. <laughs> the poor Hoplite and Sarissa are like, oh heck this nonsense. Oh my god, the lightning is just ripping them apart. They can't even get anywhere near my dudes. Oh, I stand corrected. Close quarters lightning axe combat, who will win? It looks like we got this. BAM! Unlimited power. They have boats, let's ballista their boats. And since he's proven to be the MVP in the past, let's have a Zeus as well. Let's also recruit some snake archers and put a shield bearer as the front. Alright, the legendary battle has begun. They've thrown their ships, wasting them on the shield bearer. The blisters have also fired. They're not having fun with my snakes either. Oh, Zeus is firing now. Get up, Zeus. This is no time to be lounging around. Although he seems to be able to shoot anyways. Bam! We won that battle easily. Haha! That's it! Thank you for playing our introduction campaign. Feel free to check out the adventure campaign, the challenge campaign, and I'm pretty sure there are other ones too. Sweet! I'll definitely do that. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I know it's different than what I normally do, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. <laughs> Look at that wonderful mammoth. If you like this video, then let me know with a click of the like button and a comment down below. If you're new and like what you see, then hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye